you generally tend to strike two for the first stage. Oh, oh a fountain as well. It could be found. Yeah, that's All true. Right. Both these characters are uh, very uh, adept at Fountain of Dreams for sure. Absolutely. So not yeah. a bad starting point. Not at all. It gets crouch canceled right away, and another Ooh. crouch cancel. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a matchup where it's going to be a battle of who holds down at the correct point in time. And so far, MACD three for three on crouch cancels. Yeah, definitely. He's proficient in it, to say the least. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And yeah, you're right. Pikachu is also doing a lot of crouch cancels. You saw that on the Nair on the top platform there. Yeah. Okay. Pivot up smash. It doesn't quite connect. Ooh, the get off me. Yeah, that is, the, that is the answer to uh, crouch canceling multi-hit. Oh, he actually, I cannot believe he beat McCain to the ledge right there. I thought for sure MACD was going to steal it away from him. Maybe he would go for the option select where he gets the second upward uh, up B angle afterwards. Right. But uh, yeah. a very quick nair afterwards to seal that first stock out. True, and what a shield grab. Okay, down, oh, throw. down throw. Immediate tech doesn't allow MACD to do anything. <laughs> oh, I love it. Goes straight into the grab after the fair, too. So that was something, actually, if anyone watched the pre-show, mm -hmm. uh, featuring Wobbles, Tofkins, and Chill and Dude. Where mm -hmm. Wobbles talked a little bit about the adjustments that Axe has made in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, oftentimes, pe Peach players will do the jabs after uh -huh. we're forward air, right? But uh, Axe had been crouch canceling going straight into up smash for him. McCain with the adjustment where he doesn't even go for the jabs. Lands the strong fair on shield and just grabs him straight out of it. That's smart. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a good, a, a good adjustment. Definitely. Ooh, nice. And the turnip kind of forcing him to go at that trajectory and gets the neutral air to seal the deal. Yeah, reaches just far enough off enough off stage to grab it. Yeah. Okay. A little overzealous on the down smash. Mm -hmm. Great float. Can't believe he saved it. Yeah, he waited for uh, some sort of movement from Axe and then punished it with that forward air. Yeah. Wow, not quite well spaced on the down tilt. Mm -hmm. Great reaction from Axe to get that up smash out of shield. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. Ooh. And uh, the uh, set that got Axe into top eight was versus Duck, I believe. That's right. Yeah. It's actually, if you think about it, that's a pretty similar style of play that he's going to have to be playing for Samus as well as Peach. Exactly, exactly. So um, the adjustments he made during that match because he was down the first game and then he uh, switched it up, I think he can use that kind of knowledge in this particular matchup as well. Yeah, absolutely. Not quite exactly the same, but similar kind of mindset. Yeah, I mean, both those those two characters, Peach and uh, Samus, are characters who have decent zoning moves mm -hmm. and they're very strong on the ground, which are things that can cause Pikachu trouble. Right, right, right. So for him to be able to uh, solve those equations and be able to adjust the way that he plays, yeah, and triple uh, down smash. <laughs> oh man, that's. I feel like two hits have just cost him uh, this 104 and 98 percent previous to that. Yeah, just two down smashes. They actually down smash right next to each other. That was a stitch. It was. Okay. Oh, oh great man. spacing for MacD. MacD taking the first game. Yeah. But yeah, like we mentioned, a lot of crouch cancel hits. Like that last stock was just two crouch cancel down smashes, and it just netted him like 40, 50 percent because of the uh, elevation of that platform. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that that first matchup, uh, first match really worked out for MACD on that stage. I think part of the struggle of uh, countering to FOD, it's, it can be nice in some instances, right? Mm -hmm. um, Pikachu is a smaller character; he can crouch underneath those platforms to make it a little more difficult for him to be approached. Right. But uh, at the same time, those little platforms can make it, it difficult if he's the one who has to do the approaching, right? Sure. McCain's just pulling turnips and not approaching him. Yeah. And the wrist reward is so skewed because oh, if you absolutely. just lose, you get that fat down smash. Yep. Great okay. tech chase by MACD. That's a full call out on that full dash attack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, man, uh, Axe has got to be a little bit more conservative with the way he's approaching. He's getting crouch canceled a little bit too much, and that time this is the tech. Okay. Mm. Ooh, okay. A bit of a risk for McCain. He tries to read that Axe wouldn't fade back on that up B. If he goes out with that second back air, it actually sets, even with Pikachu's rate recovery, it cuts off how far into the stage you can get. Right. So MACD can then more easily punish on stage. Right, right. Okay, uh, just MACD stuck on his shield <laughs> there and hoping something would happen. Axe just kind of patiently waiting below him. Good trade for MACD. Still has control center after that. I Whoa! Guess. I like the turn up drop after the grab. Oh, yeah. I gotta say, this is one of the least hype uh, chants from the from the <laughs> melee cut. Pika, 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 Chu. Yeah, it's very lacking enthusiasm. For Mad sure. monotone. <laughs> right. Even on Pokemon Stadium, like, yeah. people still in the crowd aren't feeling it. Step it up, crowd. Come on, guys. Boston is way better at it. Absolutely. And a great just lock onto that ledge again. It's gonna be pretty difficult for MACD to edge guard unless he kind of goes out there, which yeah. it can be risky. 
okay. And similar to the Samus matchup, you know, he was just doing a lot of forward throws into nothing really gained. Yeah. But the positioning is gained. Right, decent amount of percentage, and then you also just force him slowly off stage. Right. And even though he's not getting much off of it, he still needs to go for those just to punish the shield, right? Right. You have to keep them honest. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Take that stage position. Oh, he goes for down throw. I mean, he got three forward throws. I mean, that's decent percent, and it allowed that neutral air to KO. Right, yeah. Probably built, what, 20 to 30 percent after all that. Yes, yes. Mac goes for the read on the full hop with that up air, too, kind of giving up the ground and allowing it. Axe to sneak under with a down smash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh! Slide off and gets that uh, down air. Yeah. Oh, he got him! See, that's what I thought was going to happen on the first stock of game one. Right. Yeah. Right, right. And we saw um, Duck kind of do that as well, just really adapting and grabbing onto the ledge and forcing Axe to at least go on stage. Uh, making it at least a little bit easier to edge guard. Oh, that was a sick tech chase from Max. Yo, that up smash killing at such low percentages. Yeah, that's part of the counter pick on this stage, that low ceiling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, man, he's got to be careful with these neutral airs at low percent. Yeah, he does as best he can for the most part. You won't see too many of them thrown out unless they're crossing through. Right. Max D. Oh, will he convert off that? The full conversion. No DI on the up smash. Allows an easy thunder follow up. Yeah. Yeah, wow. that was a, a sick, sick uh, chain of events. Definitely. Okay, crowd Axe. cancel down smash of his own. Nice. Ooh. The combo game from Axe yeah, right no now. No kidding. Okay. Oh my god, these up airs. <laughs> 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 he charged it. <laughs> Did not expect that. Oh boy. Ooh, okay, utilizing the windmill. Yeah, that's smart. That right. makes Pikachu's recovery even more tricky. <laughs> Okay, forward throw, netting him something that time with a small forward air. Oh, the oh spacing. Oh my god, that spacing was so sick. And a big part of the way that Axe can confidently secure kills is when he gets knockdowns. Right. On your characters. He's so good at setting them up with down tilt or low up airs where it puts them in tech chase situations and reacting accordingly with up smash. Yeah, that up smash tech chase especially is Perfect. so potent. Yeah. Man, netting him those kills. Oh, and the zoom in! <laughs> Letting us know uh, what Pika character hat. he represents. Yes. Pikachu. As if we didn't know already. <laughs> <laughs> but FD, perhaps the hat is not going to be representative in this particular match. Okay. I take it back. You single Pikachu. I take it back. I All right. It, back. Yeah. it did work out for him. Uh, he did go one and one at SmashCon versus the Marth. Yeah. So, you know, either way, it's probably not bad. No, definitely not. That time was a good neutral air. You know, he's. Uh, going a little bit higher so that he doesn't get crouch canceled. Yeah. The whole idea is that although it is a small hitbox, like Pikachu is such a fast character that you can throw it through them, clip them and get to the other side with the crouch cancel crouch canceled move will no longer hit. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that time he does uh, Thunder Jolt off the edge to get him off the ledge. Mac D really unable to get any stage position right now. Great dash chance from Axe. Uh, He's threatening very effectively. Oh! Oh my god. Immediate hit confirm into that Thunder. Right, I thought he, he might actually KO off it. Okay. Gets the reverse up smash, so the hitbox, or his hurt box is extended. Okay, Great the tech. tech! Oh, and the fade back on the Umbrella, too. The aerial drift. Yes, amazing survival by Mac T. Mm -hmm. As soon as he was turned around on that edge, he knew that he was in trouble. Yeah, yeah. He oh, perfectly managed the to execute. The umbrella going it through the thunder. Oh, that should be free. Yeah, yeah. Once you exhaust that uh, up B, not much you can do except rely on the drift. Yep. And he just went straight down. <laughs> Two <laughs> the down, double down smash. <laughs> right next to each other. E. I thought he was going to lock on up B onto the ledge again to keep himself a little bit safe. Damn. Been really impressed so far with uh, Axe's survival and recovery throughout this game two and three. Yeah, that turnip actually that was a sick turnip. Very good turnip. It yeah. allowed him to just hold on to the edge and just be safe there. Yeah, cut him right out of his double jump. You see that crazy wavelength from MACD at the end of that descent right there? Oh! Yeah, was the option select. And that's the adjustment from Axe. You know he can react. Okay, I missed this. I'm just going to go straight up. Trick him up just a little bit. Yeah. The Great. strength of Pikachu's recovery. That upper was amazingly spaced. Oh, can he? Oh, oh. I thought he might follow up with Thunder. Yeah, I think he wanted to bait out an air dodge by putting out some movement and then punish it with uh, an, a, a second Thunder. Yeah. Because he's been getting that quite a bit, and he missed the timing initially. Oh, my God, this dash dance. Ooh, I, oh, okay, he goes for the full hop from near center stage to try to approach. And the important part about the distance with this dash dance that Axe is keeping is that he wants to be in a space where uh, MACD still can't pull oh. out the turnups, but forward air into up smash. 
Yeah, you want to dash that's right around him so that he can't pull out the turnip. Yeah, you need to stay close enough. It's all about threatening range, right? Oh, right. You need to stay close enough so that they fear you, right? They can't go for something like pulling a turnip. It's too risky. But at the same time, you're not committing. Yeah. And they can't threaten you back. You're a faster character. Yes, sir. Okay, Max knows that spacing all too well, and he's built a solid stock lead at this point now. Yeah, I gotta say his combo game is doing really well. Smash DI's it to the left to get that grab off the forward air. Mm. And reverse forward air to clinch that stock. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I like the roll away off the get up from MACT, not allowing Axe, even with Pikachu's speed, to get any follow ups on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this dash dancing. Yeah, he's really just done an excellent job once he has center stage position. It's actually really tough for Peach to deal with that kind of play style. It you know, truly turnip, is. Turnips are like kind of what she needs to rely on, and if you're staying in that spacing we're talking about, it's kind of tough. Yep. Okay. Second air, not quite going to do it. Oh, oh, he just dips too low. Too low. And the way Axe nodded there, I feel like he recognized it and yeah. didn't grab the edge. Right, he knew. Okay. Float delaying that combo from happening. Go, okay, this for back there. I was, thought maybe he'd go for a down throw mix up on the DI. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mac D's still in a decent spot, poised to potentially even this up. Hasn't right. taken too much percentage yet. <gasps> oh, that's so dangerous that he gets turned around by that whenever he gets clipped by yeah, it. Yeah, that's scary. And if you're not uh, cognizant of that gonna happening, it's gonna be pretty weird for you to deal with. Yeah, to okay. adjust your recovery. Right, right. 70% now, it's actually started to get into a little bit more difficult territory for MACD. True. Man, those reverse up airs are actually working out really well for him in the uh, aerial game. I see no other Pikachu space the up air as well as Axe does like that. Yeah, yeah. Like we talked about yesterday, it's the few uh, di one of the few disjoints the Pikachu actually has. There you go. It's the down smash. Mm -hmm. And uh, Axe is just so proficient at knowing exactly what his range is. Right. MACD is almost out of recovery options. Yeah, all he has is up E, and Axe just goes straight to the ledge, securing that last stock. And the mini fist bump from Axe. Yeah. Okay, sticking to his guns with the Pikachu there, even on the FD counter pick, and MACD contemplating what he wants to do, puffing the cheeks. Yeah. I, I think uh, he looked a little slower in that first game. Mm -hmm. You know, often you'll play, especially in a best of five, where you're just not quite feeling yourself yeah. to begin with. Uh, right. But his pace has definitely picked up since then. Yeah, yeah. He seems quite confident in himself. Yeah, just right up into uh, MACD's space. MACD really deliberating on the counter pick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Story is, I think, uh, a decent counter break. I've definitely seen Mac D take him there in the past. Ooh, Dreamland. Dreamland would be interesting. He wants to uh, gain the advantage from the huge, the yeah. huge ceilings and the huge. Yeah, uh, I guess lassos. he is dying at lower percentages because Up Smash has been a, a pretty consistent KO finisher. Yeah, and this will probably extend his life by maybe 10, 15 percent at the very least. Okay. Oh, power shield. Those, da those, those crash cancels at low percent. Yeah. Always kind of working out for him. Ooh. Okay. Down tilt, forward air. Okay, McCain again tries to read the angle. Yeah, he was, he was hoping that he was going to uh, lock to the edge there, so that required going in that position where he did the back air. Yeah, and between the uh, the uppies of Pikachu's, or the jolts, I guess, of Pikachu's uppie, his hurtbox actually gets pretty big. Right. So if you throw out a large uh, stagnant hitbox, not stagnant, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, lingering? Persistent, yeah, lingering hitbox, like Pikachu's back air, you'll be able to pretty consistently. Oh, well, no, well, X was with, that with the abysmal <laughs> DI. Oh, my God. That's really unfortunate. I think he was uh, really overestimating how big Dreamland was there. If he went to the top right, they probably would have lived. Okay. Okay, trade for MACD. He'll take any trades he can at this point. Mm -hmm. Big part of the reason he chose this stage is that you can take those trades more consistently and not worry too much about having to die to early up smashes. Yeah, that's actually a very good point. Oh, he tries to lock on there, but that parasol. Yeah, just know. barely. Yeah. Parasol hitbox is pretty hard to, to space around and not get hit by unless you really know how it works. Yeah. I feel like MACD definitely a little bit more aggressive so far this game, too. Yeah. I don't know if it's just because he has a lead, so he's feeling more comfortable, but he's challenging Axe a lot more often, whereas in the last few games, he was a little bit more hesitant, especially when he got put in the corner. I think it's exactly what you said, that he's very willing to trade, so like the risk to reward is kind of skewed true. in his favor yeah, right now. The so aggressiveness a... almost makes a little bit more sense. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Definitely. And uh, I think Axe might be a little bit antsy on trying to get this KO as well, so he might be slightly, slightly more aggressive than what we're used to seeing. That's true. And MACD's kind of capitalizing on that. Because he's gotten 140%. 
Like, he can't be mad about this. 140 is a great yeah, lead. That's fine. One strong forward air with uh, not the best DI could definitely seal this stock out for MACD at this yeah. point. Jab, down smash. Classic Interesting smash DI. <laughs> yeah, the classic. <laughs> Interesting smash DI from Pikachu, but still uh, gets the down smash. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Huh. That back air, that's what he's been looking for so often. Finally, he's able to catch it. I think Axe was unable to quite get the upward angle sweet spot up B mm -hmm. from that low uh, position that he was put in. Right, right. Oh, and he baits out the down smash there by pretending to go down, but double jumps at the last second. Gets a uh, little aerial for his hole. Grab it, box. <laughs> but from behind. Uh, yeah, that stuff always cracks me up. Multi hit down smash. MACD is pretty far ahead in this game four. Yeah, and he's giving a lot of respect for Axe on the edge as well, kind of just waiting at a, a spacing that allows him to punish any up airs or any forward airs that come off the ledge. Not that time, unfortunately. No, not quite. Ooh, Axe, where are you going, man? Nice. Putting out those uh, lingering hitboxes that you were talking about. Oh, comes right over the thunder. Amazing DI, though. <laughs> oh. Uh, MACD's actually been <laughs> really good so far this game with the... Uh... <gasps> that was so scary! Wow. MACD was, uh, did not think he could make it back there, but the homie's got the instant transmission. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, I can't believe he almost returned. That was, that's... Yeah. Just double up smash. <laughs> Slap Slapped him into the double slap. Yeah. All these are fine trades for Maxi. Yeah. He's not too worried about it. And it's so hard for Pikachu to make this comeback on this particular stage. Uh, we saw him get actually quite a bit on his combo game in uh, Pokemon Stadium. But on this stage, Maxi can just DI everything away off stage, and Pikachu just kind of has to wait and edge guard again. There's nothing else he can follow up on. Oh, oh no! and he's a little late. Oh, oh no. Wow. I honestly don't mind him going for the risk right there. Yeah. When you're down two stocks and a, a little bit of percentage, like, go ahead, take yeah. that shot. You know, maybe you'll get the stock finally and be able to build some sort of comeback. He needed to close it out somehow. He really so, did. So yeah. can't, can't blame him. But, man, okay. And this is game five now? Ooh. You know what Mac D's listening to? He's grooving right now. <laughs> Look at He's this dude. in the zone. <laughs> okay. And nice. Yeah. Okay, Battlefield. And it's going to be battle. it's gonna be Pikachu again for sure. All right. I'm excited to see a full five-game all Pikachu set from Axe. And you no, know, no, no counter picks in this matchup. This is uh, I, I saw it at EGLX, I believe, where he goes game five with Armada, and this guy is just well versed in this matchup. Oh my God, Mac D, yeah. not going to be too easy off that. Yeah, that side platform is good. definitely going to allow Axe uh, more opportunities to recover. Yeah. Without any potential follow-ups for MACD. MACD Great really spacing. loves his down smash on the platforms. I mean, it's almost to the point where people are waiting for it. We saw Axe get a uh, free neutral air because of that. Yeah, he was just waiting it out. Yeah. That was a big part of the reason why uh, Nintendo took those first two games against MACD as well. Top 32 yesterday. Yeah. Oh, the unfair. Oh, oh, he's just a little overzealous. Yeah, and I, that's that's why Magdi puts him out there because it keeps players honest. It's like you think he's gonna do it again and again and again, and you're like, maybe not this time. <laughs> nope. <laughs> the maybe fifth one. maybe this time he'll uh, he'll try to shield drop or something. Nope. <laughs> the ultimate mix-up. Yeah, is when you never mix anything. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we turned him around. Okay, see, that's part of the reason why he does that. Look how little damage these tail whips are doing, but it's amazing uh, in terms of keeping the pressure on. A literal five-hit combo for 33%. Oh, oh, my God! And speaking of five-hit combos. <laughs> Meanwhile, one input. <laughs> nets 50 for MACD. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Man, but that's... That's why he does those down smashes, because it's the risk to reward is, is it's, huge. It's so high in his favor. And Ooh. another power yeah, shield. power shields. Axe again, kind of struggling to get back in though. MACD has done such an amazing job, just sort of spacing Axe out, maintaining center. But Axe at that time, doing the same. Yeah, I mean, even if we just oh like God, analyze those, dance. those down smashes a little bit, the times he punished him, he got like 80%. The times he was punished, he got one neutral. I mean, it's simple return of investment, right? That's yeah. just ROI for you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, amazing turn up. Oh, if he didn't do get up attack, I feel like he could have potentially. Wow, gets yeah, the grab on the other up. side as well. Crazy. Great reaction to the regular get up. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mac T still with a decent lead. Mm. This is some tight battles we have right now, Webs. We're two socks apiece. This is for top six at Shine 2016. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the down smash again on the top platform. I mean, 
pretty safe. Yeah. Given well, the space. I mean, what, what even can Pikachu do much off that? You know, up air potentially. Right. Nair would likely just get crotch canceled for another down smash. Mm -hmm. Uh, nice. Oh. That time he uh, kind of understands what's going on and waits in his shield instead. Yeah. Comes in with the nearest straight into a block. Oh, spot dodge is the get up attack. Okay. No follow up though. But Axe has slowly, just slowly built up a percentage lead. And that's what he's going to have to do. He's going to clinch this. That oh, no! even with the soft up smash. What? Amazing conversion. Seriously. I can't believe he was actually able to make that work. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh. oh boy, this is starting to look a little more difficult for McCain. Yeah, and you see, in, in those panic situations, he's like, oh, he's comboing me. I'm just going to do a, a down smash right away. Yeah, and yeah, like, please Axe. overextend in this combo. Yeah, yeah, and Axe is like, no, I'm just going to wait because I know I can't get anything for sure here, and I'm just going to try to get as much percent on this stock. Oh, that neutral air just spaced out with the back air. Axe taking these trades like a champ. He doesn't mind it at all. Yeah, and he uh, even used Thunder Jolt to... Counter the turnips, catching the turnips, waiting for the. Oh down my smash. god! He almost got that up smash out of it. That could have. That might have potentially been it. Yeah. Oh, that would have been the stock. Oh, no, turnips not working out for McCain on that one. No, not at all. Misses the spacing on that forward air, and now he's in a really tough spot. Oh. Corner of the stage. Yeah, that's scary because he could have gone for. Oh, up air. He could have gone for pivot up smash the Pikachu, but yeah. he goes for grab instead, which is a crazy mix up. Yes. Okay, and last stock situation. Macdi needs to get something started. He needs to build some percentage somehow. He shouldn't be above Pikachu the way oh, he is because so those up airs are coming out and they have netted him either a thunder or an up smash based on the DI. Yeah, at the percentage he's at is right around where Axe is actually looking for those up air to up smash conversions too. So this is exactly, exactly, exactly what he's looking for. He keeps approaching him from above like that. I don't know if that's the best option. Oh, Mac D. Uh oh, Just okay. trying to fight his way back in with the neutral airs. He's cornered. Mm, Narakok not going to steal it, but at 142, Mac D is running out of options at this oh, point. He's the, the antsy forward air. Okay. Oh, he's just got floating up B. Nice. Goes for the air dodge. Oh my god, the early air dodge, but she'll drop Nair. Oh, and that'll do it. Axe makes it into top six of this loser's bracket here at Shine. Crazy. And what a crowd we have here. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. New England out in force. It's a beautiful day. 84 yeah. degrees, no humidity, but we are inside oh, yeah. this oh, yeah. amazing Seaport Convention Center watching. Oh, my gosh. That was hype. Melee top eight. What have you seen Pikachu Peach be so hectic and so down to the wire? Very aggressive from both players. They both did uh, pretty well with their stage control as well. Right. You know, when right. one of them were in control, it was either they would build a bunch of percentage or they maybe would overextend, but neither of them made huge mistakes. In yeah. Way. It was overall pretty solid gameplay from both of them. Yeah, definitely came down to the wire. I mean, just a 100% uh, 